Hello, Run the Sisters and Hard Tools family. Wow, the past two days have been a bit of a whirlwind in my mind for sure. I woke up yesterday morning to the Lord playing songs of faith over me, about stepping out in faith, and then he played one about surrender. Majority of the songs that morning had the same theme. As I began to wonder, Lord, what are you going to ask me to do? What have I not done? So I pondered on it for a while. The night before, I had a conversation with Pastor Chama after the beautiful message received from Father Pio and Jesus about taking him under my wing as a spiritual son and just helping him. He was very open and excited as he had the suggestion that maybe he should come to the mountain to be taught a bit, then go back to Zambia. I told him that the Lord wanted him stationed there. That was his post, and I didn't think he was calling him here. However, after the Lord began to play the songs of faith and surrender, I thought maybe I had presumed too swiftly because I didn't ask the Lord and thought maybe he was wanting Pastor Chama to come here. I went to him about it and got a no. Then a thought popped in my mind that I was to go there. I reasoned with myself, no way. It doesn't make sense. Why? I don't understand. I then went to the Lord about it and got joy. And I was to leave next month. I thought to myself, well, as all of these obstacles came to my mind, as I wondered how the Life from Light event would fit into all of this, this just didn't make sense, and I lost my peace and thought for sure this is a lying spirit to snar me. I've been here before a few times. It didn't make it any better that the Lord wasn't giving me confirmation, doing any readings or rhemas about this at all. I felt so in the dark. I finally got a rhema card from Blessed Mother, which had her picture on it, and she said, Rest your head on my heart. Peace, peace, my daughter, peace. So I decided to just lay down with the idea altogether and just discard it from my mind. We then had to go to Mother Claire's for our hour of divine mercy prayers. She got a rainbow card that was jilting and had everyone discern if it was from the Lord. Everyone got confirmation. My readings were of humility, pride, and prisoners. I thought, uh-oh. I then went to Lord to see if it was about me instead and got Holy Spirit. Ouch. I thought, Lord, what did I do this time? Those readings were a hard warning. So again, the thought popped in my head, the trip to Zambia. So I asked the Lord, is that it? Am I being stubborn in my pride to disregard your suggestion of going to Zambia? I got guidance. Oh boy. This time I submitted this to Mother Claire and told her what I felt the Lord was telling me to do and if she could please discern for me. I thought for sure the lying spirit was going to be exposed, because this has happened many times before, as demons have put it in my mind or my own flesh, has been attached to leaving the community prematurely. To my surprise, she got joy and Holy Spirit. I was in shock, to say the least, as she encouraged me to go. She too felt it didn't make sense, but if the Lord is asking of this, I should go. Still very Larry, I went to Father Ezekiel to confirm that, so they both would be in agreement, and he got joy, but laziness twice, and had a strong check that this was the enemy messing with me again, trying to have me leave the community. I actually felt the same way too, in my reasoning. I just couldn't make sense of the Lord asking this of me, and right now. I felt I smelled the fingerprints of the enemy. However, Mother Claire felt the opposite. I didn't know what to do. When both of my coverings are not in agreement, I must get another leg of discernment and wait on the Lord to make it clear. So I asked Mother Elizabeth to discern when I got home, telling her the whole story, and she got Holy Spirit. Oh boy, can you say confusing, fearful, excited, and anxious all at the same time? <laughs> I decided I would just lay down with it all together. If this was the Lord's will, He had to make it very clear to me and to mother and father. So in the morning, I went into worship with the thought of laying this idea down again. But it kept gnawing at my heart. So I went to ask the Lord again, assuming if I got bad readings, then it was just a cross, and it really was the enemy. However, I got joy again. Now I reached out to another intercessor, asking for their discernment, and for them to pray behind me that I get a message about this. And they got peace and fruitfulness. Do you see guys how I struggle with faith? I am the worst. I just cannot reason why I would be going, and especially not having both of my coverings in agreement.
I had to be obedient to what they thought best. So I cried out to the Lord in my heart that I desperately needed a word from him because this was not going away. I needed him to make it clear to me his will. And if he did, I would do it. Just then, I heard Blessed Mother begin to speak to me. Our Mother of Mercy began, My beloved daughter, I'm here to bring you peace of mind and heart. I did warn you to not discount the instructions you'd be given as a familiar spirit. Then it hit me. Oh my goodness, is this my enunciation? I responded terribly and did everything she told us not to do. Can you say face palm? So mother, this is my enunciation? Our mother of mercy continued. Part of it, my beloved one. Your thoughts are my own. And just then I was thinking it was Archangel Gabriel who came to me to give me that announcement that morning. She said, It was Archangel Gabriel who gave you that message and was sent to you to announce God's will. And that is his will for you, beloved little one, to go to Zambia. Do not fear. I know there's been much confusion and much unbelief on your part. Forgive me, mother. But too many times I've been disappointed or met with contradictions or even given over to a lying spirit concerning going anywhere for that matter. So I've become a little too cautious and has crossed over to utter unbelief in this area. Please forgive me. You are forgiven, beloved, and your reasoning doesn't help. Come. I then saw her right before me, so tenderly smiling at me, as she cuffs my face in her hands. I was knelt before her, and then she pulled me close, kissing my forehead, as she said, Now have my mind, beloved. I gazed upon her warm smile and tenderness. She was so beautiful, glowing and brilliant and radiant light, and looking so tenderly at me. How could I say no? As I remembered her words to the angel and said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Be done according to his word. If that is the Lord's will, I put my understanding aside and submit it to you. Please forgive me for resisting his will. You told us not to do that, and I did that very thing, Mother. I'm a mess. You are a great example of weakness and God's mercy. Do not worry, my little dove. I will bring peace to your covering, and they both will be in agreement to send you out. You will go with God's protection and his anointed beloved one. Mother, I just didn't understand why now, with the event coming up and other things. Lean not onto your own understanding. But in all your ways acknowledge the Lord, and he will direct your path. As an aside, the Lord had just played a song called Lean On right before getting this message, and the lyrics were stating just that. Stop leaning on to your reasoning, beloved. It didn't make sense to me to be chosen as the mother of the Son of God or have a baby when I knew no man. But I knew if a word from God was spoken to me, he would do it. I didn't reason in what way but I simply trusted what the angel told me, and it was done. So trust me, beloved daughter. Trust that he has a plan in mind, and if he's asking for you to go now, not only will the door swing wide open, provision will be made, and he will go ahead of you to make the crooked path straight for you and Pastor Chama. The most opposition you'll receive will come from the devils to cause you interior anguish and anxiety as they've done, sowing seeds of doubt and restlessness. So rest in these words to you. More instruction will be given to you, beloved, as you respond and move forward. There are many wonderful surprises in store for you and for Pastor Chama as you go. Many souls and lives will be touched, and you are not going alone. But the angels' armies before you and hedge all around you to help you with the mission that you will be given. The best preparation is your yes for now. Rest in that. And as you submit this to your covering, peace will come about as to what the Lord is asking you to do. Do not worry about the promotion or circulation of the event as you're gone. Once you said, Holy Spirit is the best marketer, remember? He is working in ways you do not know of. Have the ladies be faithful in spreading the word, and he will do all the rest. Have the group pray behind you, beginning now, 
and fervently as you are there in preparation for all the Lord desires to do. This is the first announcement to you. Thank you for responding and continue to be expectant for more to come. Thank you, Mother, for your peace and direction and your faith. I know you gave it to me this morning because I was definitely going to disregard this prompting altogether after Father didn't feel good about it, but I couldn't get it off my mind. This morning, I put my trust into your motherly, immaculate hands and trusting that as this is the Lord's will, you'll make it clear to all. Please help me, Mother, to not overthink this. Our Mother of Mercy responded, Then I'll just have to give more kisses to you on your forehead, she smiled. You receive graces and my love that way too, my sweet daughter. Then Mama, I need several kisses now and in the days to come. Here, she grabbed my face again and gave me five more kisses all over my forehead. That will sustain you for now. I'll come back for more tomorrow. Thank you, Mother. <laughs> Just then, guys, I opened my eyes as I was typing to see a brown and orange beautiful butterfly in the middle of my journal just staring at me. I was amazed and knew this was a sign from Jesus. He always shows me butterflies to let me know he's present. Then the butterfly flew right on top of the head of my little Blessed Mother statue that was right before the Blessed Sacrament fluttering. If that wasn't a strong confirmation, I don't know what is. I began to smile and laugh, reaching for my phone to take a picture, but it flew away. As I thanked Blessed Mother for this beautiful message and heaven's help to get through the wall of fear and receive this announcement. I talked to Father Ezekiel and Mother Claire after that, sharing this message, and they both had great peace about it and telling me to move forward. So this is exciting for me, family. As you are on this journey together, please pray for me. Pray for Pastor Chama and pray for this mission. I would also like to thank all those who donated to the Little Purity who were able to give her $6,675. Amazing. You all are so generous. If you like to donate towards this mission for my trip to Zambia, or even provide items you would like for me to give to Pastor Chama for his ministry, please donate via the PayPal link or send any items to 113 P.O. Box Taos, New Mexico, 87571. We'll need to have the box latest by two weeks. Thank you, family, for your faithfulness. God bless you until the next message.